Hello everybody, uh, my name is Renee, welcome to Kids Spot this week. I'm going to make myself small so I can show you some pictures. All right. So this week we're going to be talking about prayer. Pastor Joel's church service is about prayer today and that's what we're going to talk about as well. So you know that prayer is talking to God and we do a lot of praying at church, but it's really, really good to pray to God every day and talk to God every single day. Why is that a good idea? Let's have a little look. So here's some good friends having a lovely time together. Um, they're obviously having a coffee together or something and a nice chat. And that's how you make friends, isn't it? You guys don't drink coffee with your friends, but you chat to them and you talk to them and you play things together. And if you didn't do that, it would be really hard to stay friends. Um, so we need to talk to God every day so that we can keep our friendship with God. So you need to talk so that you can have a friendship. It's a bit tricky to stay friends with somebody if you don't talk to them. Another reason that it's a really good idea to talk to God every day is kind of shown in this picture. So here's a little girl walking along with Jesus. And that's kind of what happens when we pray to God every day. We start praying to God and asking him for things. And what that can remind us is what God really wants from us as well. So if you pray for somebody who's sick, maybe that reminds you that you should go and visit that person or make them dinner or something like that. If you pray for people to be kind to each other, maybe that reminds you that you should be kind as well. So praying helps us remember what God would like us to do, helps us to walk with God every single day. So those are really good reasons to pray every day. Now, it's a little bit tricky sometimes, though, because we can't see God like we can see our friends to pray to them. So sometimes we might need some little reminders to help us pray. So I've thought of some ideas and I'm going to show you those now. I'm going to make myself big again so you can see what I'm going to show you. All right, so here on some sticks, I have written the names of some kids I know. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one of the sticks and then I might pray for that person. So who have I got? Oh, I've got someone I know called Zoe. And what I might do um, when I pick out that stick is I might pray that Zoe has a really good day today. Or I might pick out Zach. And I might pray that Zach stays safe while he's traveling this week. And I might pick out Erin and I might thank God that I know Erin because uh, she is lovely. All right, I have another idea for you. So I've got a dice here and the dice has all kinds of different kinds of prayers that you can pray. So what I'm going to do is roll the dice on top of here and then we'll see what kind of prayer we come up with. Oh, it's a ooh, wrong way around. There we go. It's a sorry prayer. So that might remind me to say sorry to God for the things I've done wrong this week. Maybe I shouted at my brother or maybe I didn't do what my mum or dad asked me to do straight away. So I could say sorry for those things. Let's roll again. Oh, that's another sorry. I'll try and get a different one. There we go. Help the people in. So maybe that would remind me to pray for people in Victoria who might be worried about getting COVID or maybe they have COVID. Maybe I could pray for God to be with those people. So that's a good idea. Um, oh, that's a nice one there. Help me to forgive. So maybe somebody's done something um, that you didn't like and you want to be able to forgive them. God can definitely help you with that. All right, here's my next idea. So I've got some blocks here. I've got some red and blue and yellow and green blocks and that might help me, let's move that down a little bit, that might help me to remember that there are different kinds of prayers we can pray to God. So I'm gonna pick out a blue block and I'm gonna make a towel with my blocks while I'm saying a prayer for each color. So blue is sorry. So I might say, sorry God for not obeying my teacher straight away. And then I might pick out a green block and I might say, God, please help me with my schoolwork this week. And then I might have a yellow block that says, God, you're great. And I'll say, God, you're great because you made the whole world. Red block, that's a thank you prayer. So I think of something I'm thankful for, like God, oh, thank you for my pet. Love my pet. Hmm. 
got another yellow bridge, I'll put that on top, but you could make a very tall tower with your bricks. God, you're great because you love us all the same. You love us very much. So I could build a lovely big colorful tower and say a prayer for each different color as I go along. Move my tower. And then I have one more idea that you could maybe do. And I have borrowed a globe. So this might be a way to help us remember that there are lots and lots of people in the world, even more people than live in Dolby. And we might pray for a different country. So you could spin your globe or you could just pick out a country that reminds you that there are different countries in the world. Oh, Nepal. Nepal is where the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest is. So then we could pray for all the people in Nepal um, who need our prayers. Or you could pick out a special spot. Um, my brother and my nephew and nephews and niece and sister-in-law, they live in Hong Kong. So I could pray for them when I get the globe out and it reminds me that they are living somewhere else. I could spin around and I could find some countries here in the Middle East. And I know that there's a lot of wars and things going on there at the moment. So I could pray that God helps all of those people do um, to be peaceful and to love each other and maybe to know God's love as well. So that is just some different ideas. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to remember to pray every day, but those are just some ideas to help you because we know that talking to God every day is an excellent thing to do. You have a wonderful week and I will see you another time.